into a rapidly pasted together coverage for Division 3 this evening. I've had Squids run together a little Division summary for you to bring you up to speed if you've not caught anything so far. Division 3 opened with a standard FRS practice. Misplaced drivers. After the first two rounds, two drivers, Dr. Zelos and Khali, were promptly promoted to Division 2 after impressive wins in the opening rounds, with Khali taking Spa from the back of the grid. But that left the door wide open for four protagonists to get stuck into, with Shizu, Ruprat and Tez picking up wins in the next three rounds. Moving into the second half of the season, Tez was gifted the Miami win in the steward's office, robbing Civic of what would have been his only win before a rain-soaked Hungarian Grand Prix allowed Jamie to pick up their maiden FRS win from the fast-charging Ruprath. Australia saw the McLaren team engage in one of the most extreme cases of team orders, with our very own Space Ghost coming in to save Tez's blushes. A late time penalty for speeding in the pit lane, dropping Tez to the back of the field. His teammates' actions allowed him to claim an unlikely victory on the very last lap of the race. And last time out in Imola, the championship took yet another turn, with Dr. Shizu taking victory to just about cling onto a mathematical chance to win. And so, as we come into the last round of the season, Incredibly, even now, Mansta has not managed to pick up a single win in spite of their championship lead at the top of the table. Instead, preferring to plug away at a consistent five podiums and slowly build that gap at the front. Hello everybody and welcome to the ultimate round, the finale of the FRS Season 6 Division 3 Championship. And uh, the wrong video has loaded because everything is broken. So we are not in Hungary today. <laughs> we are, not we in, are in Brazil. I apologize. I have been rapidly taping OBS back together for the last 40 minutes and it looks like the me media source has not updated, but we are in Brazil. And while Squids rapidly tries to make up some filler content, I will switch that out so that you actually do get some facts about the correct track. Two seconds. Oh dear, this is going to be one hell of an evening. Um, just for those who aren't aware, Squids and myself have agreed at the start of the season to do what Squids did last season and have a number of drinks in preparation for, um, in celebration, I guess, for any McLaren podiums. And it looks like uh, various things have decided to go wrong. My OBS decided to crash this evening and I was forced to rebuild the whole setup from scratch. So now that I've found the correct intro squids, I will zip it forward for you, turn it back up, shut up, and let you actually speak. Well, and here we are in Sao Paulo, Brazil, hopefully as sunny as the real life Brazil here. And it has been a mainstay it's as the finale of our FRS season, just like it used to be in the real F1, and I believe it should still be like that. The two, DRS zones across the three sectors, some very uh, spinny and twisty middle sector there, but with a long, long straight for the uh, start finish. That will definitely give the ones with uh, some lower wing a bit of an advantage on there, but higher wing is definitely a bigger advantage throughout the uh, majority of the track. 
So up turn one, a very, very narrow sort of uh, one-two turn here. And it's been definitely a uh, an area of conflict in recent seasons, let's say. Definitely not by myself in my first ever season. Wink, wink. But turn four, again, at the end of the arrest zone, but less uh, act action-packed in most uh, races, but has definitely had some incidences, most notably by our own Space Ghost yesterday evening, nearly colliding with a poor lemon on that corner. So, our softs, medium, and hards. Hards going a whopping 34 laps across a 36-lap race. Softs going a whole 14 laps. So that would be some very interesting... Um, tactics by the drivers here this evening could they go for the basically the majority of the race on one set of hard tires we'll have to see and now it's the moment of truth i guess to see whether or not um i'm going to be able to switch without this ruining some of the surprises we've got from the guys but obviously we have a four-way championship it's between tez dr shizu Ruprath and of course the current championship leader Madster. So I Indeed. Madster's managed a strong string of podiums. I believe he's currently sitting on a podium in 50% of the races, but he hasn't managed to claim that top step. Not that he didn't deserve it in, in Australia, if I'm, if I'm being honest. That podium, and it's proved to be uh, quite important for him to, to keep that top spot. He probably would have liked to have finished ahead of Tez in that race, though, to be honest. Yeah, more than likely, and I apologize, I had you muted until I just noticed. And this is going to be frustrating for everyone because of the way that OBS is currently glued back together. I have to quickly click out the game to make any adjustments. So if I'm too loud, or if Squids is too quiet, please let me know, and I will grab it at the appro appropriate moment, rather than in the middle of someone's flying lap as we see Blackbird set the first, if you like, peg on the board, a 1087. I can't see that being the uh, the final poll time. Uh, it's better passing than what Anton I could do yesterday evening. Well, I mean, I, I did hit the wall. I think I got a 108 for um, mm -hmm. myself. Yeah, I'd say once Rupp wrapped and well, basically all our top four, once they start getting onto the track and start doing their laps, it will definitely climb, uh, well, down the timing, <laughs> down the seconds. Yeah, and apologies, I'm just trying to get my balance right it's very difficult to do so mm -hmm. because the number of audio inputs that are currently loaded into OBS mean that um, you can't see yours and my mix at the same time but it looks like we've got some oh yellow flag sector 2 oh did someone let him someone through is there any way I could see the program instead of the entire window <laughs> um, I wish I could fix you it for you uh, potentially yeah. between qualifying and the race, but right. it would be a, a hefty, hefty task right now. <laughs> no worries. As Madsa does already beef that with a 108.5, definitely something I think that he could uh, improve on because I believe our own uh, qualifying session uh, yesterday in Division 4 had a 108 flat as the uh, time. If yes, I remember that right. was from Renovatio, though, who is a, a strong, strong qualifier and honestly a strong racer. But he hasn't mm -hmm. managed to, uh, let's just say, have the run of luck this season. Um, as far as I'm concerned, he should have uh, walked that title in Division 4, if not for various shenanigans that, that seem to occur to him. Um, he, had, he had some of the most unlucky DSQs I've ever seen in an FRR season with two instances of... Uh, uh, overtaking the safety car in the first two races, uh, even though the game told them that it was okay, but then it disqualified them straight after. So that was the first couple of rounds, wasn't it? That was that was literally the first two. The first two had identical DSQs, and it was just so heartbreaking to see. Well, not, not heartbreaking for me. I got a podium in that first race, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but you know, when you see a guy who has that much pace and that much quality to just get screwed by. 
Cody's shenanigans. It, it is unfortunate. Looks like. Let's see um, here. Just in case we see any oddities, the um, F1 2022 game servers are down for PS4 right now. Um, mm. So fingers crossed that doesn't mean they need to do a a system wide reboot. <laughs> Let's hope not. It, w it would be a shame to have our title fight uh, cut short. And then over here, here is Dr. Shizu. Would he put it down on the board? And he does into P51090. Faster than I think I could do, but I definitely think he's going to want to improve on that. Uh, I think Brazil is also a track where track evolution is a big thing. You know, track can, like, it, it is definitely possible to go for multiple. Uh, hot laps one after the other, so that kind of means that the track gets worn down, there's more rubber put down more quickly, so the times can climb very quickly. It's close. Uh, the main thing you have to worry about is the battery. That is true, but I, I didn't find it. I, I found I was only using about 30% there uh, yesterday evening, as Rupp Rat <laughs> with a 108-1 puts four tenths between himself and Massa. It's going to be an interesting fight near the top. And Quimbless is letting us know that SG, you sound a bit quiet compared to me, actually. Quiet? For once in my life. <laughs> Hopefully that's better. Um, just twitched it up a little bit. So since the... Um... Oh, yes. Go, go ahead. That's no, right. You go. You go. <laughs> Looks like she's uh, hours just... down this time, but... I was just going to start a conversation, as a lot of people have been interesting about the shoeys. Unfortunately, we all have no shoey cam. But we could talk about uh, the drinks. What are you drinking tonight? I have a mixture of Kraken um, mm. in one glass. In the next glass, we have uh, Dead Man's Fingers. Uh, in the next glass, we have Red Leg. And in the last glass, we have Captain Morgan's. Um, oh, I decided that I would pre-line them up. Um, notably, my alcohol preparation has clearly gone better than the OBS preparation for this broadcast. So, um, you know, at least we got something right, hey? As uh, I'm happy with the Kraken. It is a good, good choice. It's my favourite drink, personally. Oh, Blackbirds so, uh, invalidated his push lap. Ah, uh, well, you can go again. Unfortunately, now I am. I have multiple cans of Copperberg, so a bit of cider this evening. Cam or it didn't happen. I'm sure Squids will send numerous selfies or and or videos on, on the Discord later, but in order to see that that uh, if you like private content, you'll have to you'll have to adventure there and, and have a look. And yes, I've just signed you up to do that, Squids. Yep, sub to my army fans. <laughs> the 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 issue we've got, okay, is with the amount of pre prep that we've put in. Um, that has been all like thrown up the wall um, by OBS crashing out about an hour ago and deciding it wanted to reset all my settings. And with the excitement of the title fight, and with us both slowly getting drunk, it is slightly disconcerting that we are going to be so distracted that we miss <laughs> the action on track. Um, I'm, I'm more worried about not being able to do the maths later on and realize who is champion. Like, if there is like a, a complicated turnout. I mean, I was hoping that you would have a spreadsheet at the ready, because I can't the, tab out. Uh, I, I can. I, I know Cruzo has made one that is very nice for us. Good. Fingers crossed we have the <laughs> we have it relatively straightforward, because as far as I'm aware, it's a nine-point gap, I believe, between Tez and Madsta, who are the main two that we need to concern ourselves with, unless Madsta has a particularly poor race, um, and Tez as well, in which case we can start thinking about uh, Rip Wrath and uh, even more in the margins, um, Shizu's opportunities that might be Honestly, available there, to him. I know I'm McLaren, but there is a small, there, there is a, no, not small, there's a rather large part of me that wants Shizu to take it. Just because it would be the most dramatic from P4 to win, it would be the most Kimmy way of winning. Well, he, ha he has to have, Mad based on the nine car grid that we've got, Madster must. DNF. Yeah. Yeah. Madster must DNF. That's that's objective number one for Shizu by hook or by crook. I'm not entirely sure how he'll pull it off within the uh, normal sporting regulations, but he needs Madster to crash. Yeah, and then after that, he needs exactly to win the race 
and get the fastest lap. And mm, outscore no. Tez and uh, Riprath by by the requisite amounts. Yeah, I think if... I think... Oh, Mazda, by how much is that? That is two hundredths of a second, and Shizu also putting in a very good time to get into the uh, P3 there. I would... That is... The, the, the track is seeming to quicken up, and with seven minutes remaining, there's a lot more time for it to get faster, but... Yes, I believe the how the how it will shake down for a Shizu win is that Ruprat can get P2, but he needs uh, to not get the fastest lap. And then Rene Shizu Rene can... show, if you're able to join, then I'm sure you can message Pathman and do a start from the back as Ruprat goes even faster still with a 107.9. And we're looking at the pit lane because of course we are. Um, I was too I was too concerned with my drink. Like we've got to get through these in the stream because otherwise we haven't, uh, I guess, well, held I have, up our end of the bargain. I have four cans with me and I have three more in my fridge. So if I will have to finish them all, I will be pretty much dead. But <laughs> <laughs> you will get the drink. You will seven, get the seven, next drink. <laughs> it's like seven cans on their own, easy. Seven cans in an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, and we we have got a a super secret, uh, hidden developed thing that I've been working on during the week, which hopefully we'll get a preview of at the end of this qualifying session, as long as any of the pre prep that we've done happens to be relevant. Based on how standings are at the moment, I think I'll be able to get get something in, and hopefully not deafen everyone who's listening. <laughs> Like, is, is that is yeah. that going to be a middle sector glitch, or has Iag actually set the fastest middle sector? I think that might be a middle sector glitch. That seems to happen a lot. But he does get a P4 with a very good 108.4. Still, ooh, excuse me, still two tenths to uh, the top three in front of him, but it does put him on the second row. Indeed. And it does look like Madster has got it sewn up all short of um, Riprath being there, but... Um... At the moment, but Shizu's not not out of it, and he could put up a bit of a fight with Madster. Yeah, he's only a tenth to go to get ahead of him. Uh, I'm not worried about worried about Tez because three of our top of our top four are in the top three, and Tez is down there in P6, still in the pits at the moment with a 108.7. So Te still, about Tez has been really committed this week, but he's struggling with setup. He's been trying to work out what setup he can get to stick to to make the car work for him. Um, mm -hmm. I think you'll be aware that I ran a uh, notably low wing setup, which is uh, uncharacteristic for for Brazil, um, but but nonetheless it um, it seemed to work out yesterday, I guess, <laughs> short of the uh, the chaos with uh, closing speeds that um, I experienced. But honestly, I have no idea which way Tez went. I, I sent him over my high downforce, my low downforce, my this one's kind of in the middle set up and mm -hmm. uh, he was experimenting with them this afternoon so it'll be interesting to see what his top speeds are like in the race i will also be quite interesting to see because like i said earlier in the uh, intro it's 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 a track for both almost because there's two very long straights especially the the main uh, straight is one of the longest on the calendar so a lot of uh straight line speed is so beneficial there you like in the race yesterday in Division 4, you were just absolutely on the gearbox of anyone who was in front of you. DRS be damned. Yeah, the problem but... is the closing speed, though. It caught me out twice. So yeah. I was closing up to the back of cars in front. Faster than and... you expected, yeah. Yeah, faster than I anticipated. They'd make a sort of half-defensive move and then move back to the, to the braking zone for the corner. And I would have already been on their outside, and we, we had a couple of, let's just say, interesting moments off the back of that, um, which, yeah, mostly ended up with me off track, but it was uh, it was all good fun, as as far as mm -hmm. I'm concerned, to wrap out the uh, wrap out the season in Division Four. So we've got it, Blackbird it was a now. P4, P4 uh, P3 after one 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 chappy who got disconnected um, didn't requ uh, complete the requisite number of laps, mm -hmm. so. Get the um, odd. I, I is on oh, hot yeah. app as well at the moment. Rupert's hot. He is. He's about to finish. 
Does he go even faster? No. Ooh, he does. Does he? He does and he doesn't. Yeah. That... So this lobby, I think, is still running um, in cross-play mode. I can just quickly check yes. by tabbing out. And yes, it says invite some requests within that menu. So this is still running in um, effectively cross-play mode. Mm -hmm. um, and I do find that the the delta is just kind of wrong at times mm -hmm. um, while running cross-play. Obviously, the lap times that end up on the board um, from everything we've checked have been representative, but... It is worth bearing in mind that those uh, sector splits um, may be maybe slightly out. It does look like he's possibly charging for a double push. He doesn't See, have enough time to go again. Oh, he's he is up. up. He is up on his time. And he hasn't and he run out of battery, so I wonder if he ditched the battery towards the end of that lap, as in uh, stopped deploying. See here, and he comes to the left hand side of the pit straight, and he does improve by a tenth and a half. And that's going to be proving a, with only a minute remaining in the decision, that is a big ask for Mazda to find. What's that, nearly Interestingly, it does look like the McLaren boys are going to be trying a tow here to try and pull Tez up the order just that little bit. Ooh, it does not seem to have worked. Doesn't seem to have helped he him enough. He did improve, but it hasn't improved him enough to move him up the order. He's still in P6. A moment. Uh, let's jump over there with Madsta. I think he's on his hot lap. It's P2. I can't read numbers, oh. mate. <laughs> you, you wouldn't believe how long it took me to realize that to get to people that were below P10, it was like shift in the number. So yeah. for, I think last season, for like two races, I just never spectated anyone that was below P10. So I didn't know how. I had to, uh, I, in <laughs> rapidly resetting up my um, OBS setup, I only bothered replugging in P1 through P13. Um, as yeah. Rupreth retired, eyes ah, in the pits. He's in the pits, yeah. Can Madster have... do anything about it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is actually the line. nice... Right now. Oh, oh he doesn't prove, but uh, a 108 flat, still two tenths off it, and that is Mazda done for the session. This is not the first time that Ruprat has decided enough is enough and gone into the pit lane before qualifying has even ended, or sorry, retired before the season uh, session has ended, but I don't think he's been proven wrong in all that <laughs> time. He definitely has the pace in qualifying. He is a two fast boy. Squids. Ruprath is on another level. Yeah, it sounds like uh, Tez is notably impressed with Ruprath's qualifying time. I just really mm -hmm. hope I didn't either A, deafen or B, have people see that without anyone hearing it. One way to find <laughs> out. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was expecting it, but it still just made me go, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, it looks like Tez has got um, a lot of work ahead of him. Obviously, we've got Madster starting alongside um, alongside Ruprath. Um, Ruprath, not well known for finishing well where he started, but um, we, we'll see, we'll see. Is, the, is Paul on the left-hand side? Having never started at pole here, I couldn't possibly tell you. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Brazil is not my well, track. I, I believe I started P6 and I was on the left hand side, so that would mean that pole is on the right. Check which the race is... director to see how many people sped into the pit lane. Ah, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, maybe between uh, qualifying and race here, would we be able to fix the view to me? Yes, we it's can. Possible. But really quickly, Ripwrath, Master, Shizu, Eag, Blackbird, Tez, Pathman, Brad Spit, Chronicle, that is your grid. Right, let's just do this. Wow, what a grid. Let's go. <laughs> do this. Mate, this is the easiest way for me to solve it for you. I'm afraid it hey, does mean you, you are not going to see who is speaking on the team radios, but... Um... That's... I'd rather see the race. <laughs> I mean, I have the stream up on my nothings uh, on, on, on Chrome as well here, so... Yeah. 
<laughs> Wait, two sex. My housemate is after locking himself out of the house. I have to help him. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Damn. So as things stand, as the as the uh, the grid layout is, uh, Madster will be champion. Um, obviously. Ruprath will be seeking to just get away and run away and hope that Madster gets caught up further back. Um, just to go over it again, Madster leads Tez by, I'm going to probably get it wrong now, but roughly nine points. So Tez not only needs to beat Madster with a win, he needs Madster to not be P2. Um, he needs Madster to drop a bit further down. Um, honestly, Madster DNFing is something that effectively uh, two of the the other three competitors need. Only Tez can get away with Madster finishing reasonably well. And it looks like we've got the formation yep. lap enabled. We do have a formation lap indeed. Is and slightly is disconcerting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting tire setup though. Shizu on the softs. Blackbird and Patman on the hards. Everyone else on mediums. Shizu needs to go aggressive. He needs he needs to go aggressive, get ahead and hope for a uh, safety car somewhere around lap four up five mm -hmm. and then take the hards to the end quite happily um yes renovate show that is why i'm concerned cross play is enabled on this lobby and the formation lap is switched on or at least i was able to join this lobby with my cross play still enabled as you can tell by if i just quickly pause you can see it says invites and requests rather than anyway here come the Step lights in brazil sweet. Four, five lights. As we wait, we wait, and we're off. And it seems like Ruprat does actually get away from the line very well, but Madsen takes the lead on track, and he oh, there's a bit of a bump in the behind, and that's a red bolt down to the very back of the grid. Blackburn and Patman seem to have a bit of contact there. As they Tez go with the a the rocket launch S's. start is always all the way up to P3. And Tez so and P3, our top four contenders are in the top four slots at the moment. Oh, very well. I'd love to see what Tez did at the start there. Is Tez going around uh, the outside on Shizu? No, Shizu uh, manages to close it off quite nicely. It was actually Shizu going around the inside of Tez. Tez had the position, and now Shizu is back up into P3 where he uh, began the race. But Mazda has managed to pip Ruprat at the start. Yes, again, it did seem like there was a very good start there, but it has. What but, is Codemasters uh, doing with these cameras? Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Has we got a yellow flag yellow further flag. back? It looks like Blackbird has spun it. Yep, but he's back on track. Unfortunately, no safety car at the moment to to dull our entertaining racing. You What's are that? correct, uh, Renovation. Shizu is on the soft tyre. He's going to be looking to try and attack these two front runners um, in these opening laps before those tyres wear off. The soft hard is possible. I mean, to be completely honest, the soft medium is possible if you're willing to risk it that long on the mediums, as I found out yesterday. As Ruplath goes up the inside of Madster, but will Madster be able to get the better drive out of... No, he's not got it. And now Shizu's on the back of Madster, heading round turn three, up towards turn four. Now, there won't be any DRS until the... Uh, the after this, Madster is going side by side with Ruplath. Ruplath does seem to keep the position. He Very nice defending there. And even and Shizu, is, oh, but he backs out. He knows what corners are coming up, and that will be a very, well, tumultuous corner to be side by side in two. Tez is dropping off a bit now. He is a second behind Shizu, but the top three are just well on top of each other. Definitely helped by uh, Shizu's soft tires, though. I do wonder if there's some setup differentiation here because it goes very close to Matz's rear wing there, or rear tire, I should oh, say. Oh, Shizu's round. Shizu's round. Jesus on the grass. Lost it. Oh, it is a bit of an unsafe rejoin. But where does it come out? He's he's P4. But it has caused a bit oh, of a Constantina man. effect further back down. Um, it looks like yeah. Eag and Chronicle are now shuffling about. Pass man is really low. Up P5 else. as well from uh, near the back of the grid. It looks like he might have a run on Shizu into the first turn. Yep, Shizu's definitely cut those tires a wee bit going uh, off onto the grass. Thankfully, he did not spin and was able to keep going, but that's definitely put a damper on his strategy, which was definitely to go aggressive at the start, but hard to go aggressive when you're two seconds down on P3 at the moment. 
Yes, I'm convinced already. Madster is running, I think, lower downforce than Rookrath. He's catching really significantly um, down the start-finish straight and down towards turn three, but it looks like Ruprath pulls it back out in the middle sector. We'll have to see through this lap, because obviously Madster was fighting a little bit with Shizu last lap, um, and, and not so much this lap. Yeah, it does seem to be increasing as we're going through sector two, but yeah. It is quite consistent, and they will have DRS down this straight, and if he is doing lower downforce, and he's only six-tenths of a second uh, behind Rupprat, this could be a great run for Mazda. If he can get uh, just a, that, that, that perfect exit out of the corner. Let's take a look at the times. Yep, they are turtling down. One for four tenths, three tenths. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see what's behind him. As he does set the fast lap of the race, but oh, he's just just a little bit too far away. Focus on the pretty... drive out of turn two. This yeah, is the run now. DRS. Three tenths behind him going into the arrest zone. There it is, activated. Oh, it's going to be close. I don't think he'll just have enough of a drive. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> But he is going to keep at that. He's on medium tyres, I believe. Rup Rat is... Let's have a quick look further on. back, because it looks like Brad Spit and Chronicle are going side by oh, side. Brad and... Spit, taking some uh, lessons from you from yesterday evening, but... He d he managed to keep Making the car straight. I'd say he's he's he should teach me, if anything. Yes. Well, <laughs> Chronicle taking him back around the outside. That is a swooping right-hander and very nice overtake there by Chronicle. Look at the leaders. I believe Chronicle's already done more racing thus far than he did in Div 4. <laughs> it does look like we've got this differential in terms of setups between between Prath and Madster. Mm -hmm. But Madster is now only 7 tenths. Like he, he did lose a, a bit of time in that uh, lap compared to the previous ones, but look how much he's cutting it down on the main straight. He just three and a half tenths. Oh, that is a satisfying time from Shizu. A 111.111. One, one, one. All the ones. <laughs> All the ones. That'd be where he wants to finish today, I imagine. He's manifesting it. Well, he can't finish 11th, so there's only one position it could be, right? Yes. <laughs> Unless he DNFs on lap 11. <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like Brad Spit and Brad Chronicle Spit, yeah. are still sw swapping about. Will Chronicle try and go in the same place that he got it last time out? But no, Brad Spitz says, ooh, seems to plant his car exactly oh, where... Chronicle oh, Chronicle loses it! Around. Let's, let's go to... Oh, EX Mars back, okay. I uh, should have spotted <laughs> that sooner. <laughs> well, Chronicle, um, I, I, I spun there quite a few times. It's, it's you know, it's, 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 a, it's slightly uphill, which just makes that, like, throttling up just... Oh, just really, uh, really dangerous to go too much throttle too early. Shizu is now it. back in DRS on Tez, while Madster's having another go. It, uh, Madsta, it seems to be very consistent uh, lap times, where by the time they get to the to the, the, the last corner and that uh, sprint down to lap one, or to corner one, he seems to be around seven tenths per second, and then he gets it down to about four, three and a half tenths. But then he, yeah. I, I guess he must lose us in the second sector again. But yeah, the amount oh. that has seems to be bottoming out. If I was in Madster's shoes, I'd be talking to the stewards after and asking him to check the wear level because that thing is bottoming out all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's already up to eight and a half tenths there as we're going through these corners. And I wonder if Madster's having to do the same tactic you had to do, which was use the curbs to turn the car. That was the only way to make it work, to be completely honest. It does look like Tez has the same as Shizu is getting right on the back of him through this middle sector. I do think, based on what we're seeing, Tez has gone for that low downforce. Ruprath has gone for the high downforce. Shizu is on higher downforce, at least, than than Tez. And Madster, obviously, is on something of a, a low downforce setup. Shizu will have the run down here to turn one. It's a long way to go to turn one, and he's just under that three-tenths of a second mark. Just like right. Mansa is, but you know, you need, I think, at least. Tez is deep. Tez is really deep. He's going to struggle oh. on traction out of here. And it, oh, just, oh. The way it works out. Uh, over right. speed for Shizu. Meanwhile, I, I, yeah, I agree with Quimby. Madster's just biding his time. He's sitting quite happily, recharging his ERS, and, and just, you know, plugging away, I guess. 
Yeah, he knows that he is currently champion as it stands. He needs to beat Tez by nine points, and that's that's it. That's all he needs to do. Oh, Shizu getting very close to a bit of a... <laughs> going over a death curve there. I could almost feel the rear end screaming at him, but... He's kept it going. He's kept it plugging along. Oh, he's losing Ooh. the rear end there, though. The, those softs yeah. are not happy already, but he'll take them as long as he can. But Madster is starting to drop off the back of, of Rook Breath. He had him down to um, almost the second at that point. Uh, sorry, up to almost the second at that point. But just look at the time heel away as they go down that back straight. What Mad players is that pass on? Do we know? That pass would be on medium tyres. Um, yes, yes. Yeah. There we all, go. All seven laps old. Everyone's on mediums in our top four, with the exception of Shizu, who obviously had to do something a little bit different, go a little bit aggressive, and he is really riding those curbs. Yeah. Those tyres are going to be start screaming in the next two to three laps, I think, with the wear that he's pointing them through. He's definitely pushing a lot to try and keep up to Tez. But he doesn't seem to be close enough uh, in the DRS zones to really do into the matter, of course, besides that one uh, moment in uh, an, uh, an earlier lap, but just got a bit screwed by uh, some overspeed, got picked up some uh, bit faster than he expected, like but it's an Alfa Romeo. Red spit around. around. Yeah, that's going to radio. Bono, tires are dead, tires are not fini okay. Shizu's not happy with his tyres. Those things are crying out for him. <laughs> I agree, Shizu. I have no idea what you said, but I agree. Oh, it was a <laughs> bit... That's not usually where you go wide in turn one, but it, Shizu has somehow managed this. And that's another yellow flag. Oh, it looks like Brad that, Spit has cool. collected Chronicle now. I think I, I saw Brad Spit uh, spun a couple of times. Those tyres must be crying out. And he just isn't getting the heat back down in them. Um... Unfortunate. Yeah, it's it's just really unfortunate. He's such a good driver. He's usually so, um, you know, he, he just has those random moments during the race. He's fast, he's consistent, and then just one moment he spins and the tires are, are cooked. And it's happened, unfortunately, a few times this season. But, you know, I do I do rate him as a driver. Uh, Shizu just not able to get within that... Uh, well, that's just Possibly that, like, a track limit there. Extra, extra tent or so of a second that he needs to to to, to really attack uh, Tez on the, the back straight. He's here within half a second, but oh, he and actually he boxes, pits. He boxes. He boxes. Oh, he's going in very fast, but yeah, I think he's just about managed to get it under the eighty kilometers an hour limit there. And Tez, if I were him, I would just go now and you know try and get as much clean air as possible. You know. No one attacking him. Like the only person behind him is his teammate at the moment. So might as well attack. So That's Shizu right. will probably go to hard tires from here, as he does. And he's yes. just coming out of the pit exit. Um, I think those will easily last till the end of the race. But it doesn't it look like he's going to come out near any traffic, which is uh, good. Mm -hmm. Shizu just coming out. Of, yeah. Yes, no one around him. But there is a bit of a, a line there of Chronicle uh, Yeager Blackbird. They're having their own little fight there, all within a second or so uh, of each other. A few Just seconds of each other. a quick look at Pathman for a sec. He mm -hmm. is running on those hard tyres. I wonder if that's going to come into play later. Yeah, he did start on those hard tyres, so I wonder how long he's planning to take them. Maybe take them to the end, hope for a late safety car, and then you know, uh, use, I'm wondering use... if he's taking them to Sergio Perez's ambassador of defense school. That, that, yeah, that's what I'm that's thinking what right I'm thinking. now. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking that as well. Like, kind of similar to, you, to yourself, you took your tires quite far in Australia. So, Driving to put yourself tires in the explode or a safety car yeah. comes out. It's a valid strategy in the FRS. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I mean, it worked out. You were able to pull on a great show of defending against Manster. And uh, it, it's it's brought us to this four-way fight right now. It was very fortunate. I stripped so much wing off that car. Um, it, it had top speed, and I was able to just sort of slow it down. Uh, it's very hard to pass in Australia, Sector 1 and Sector 3. So luck mm -hmm. as much as judgment, I feel. 
Asta is dipping in and out of that second mark, but just right when you get into the acceleration zones, he seems to catch up by a tent or two. It's interesting, because I'm curious as to whether Madsta is keeping up with Ruprath purely on the on having that DRS extra to pull him down along the track, and when he drops out, will Tez sort of stabilise that gap, or will Tez continue to drop off? It'll be interesting to see what the, the relative pace is of uh, our two, let's say, prime championship contenders. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know, because Matza is in a bit of a dangerous position if Tez keeps P3, if I remember. Or no, no, he still keeps it, sorry, in P3, but I, I don't think Tez could make up that four, five second gap. He's even losing it now, even with that clean air in front of him. So, uh, and as could be points out, Matza is not saving his ERS. I think he might be using it to try and keep up with Ruprat through these... Uh, through these laps. You can kind of see it now, he's he's a second and a half. And I don't think he's using his ERS this uh this lap because he's it's nearly gone. I so think that I... DRS train wagon. Mm hmm So uh our, our pack is sort of spreading out a little bit now, obviously with the, the, the low numbers on the track. There is every chance that we won't see the let's say FRS standard safety car. Um it's worth noting that if drivers came into this race expecting the standard FRS safety car, we could see some uh, dramatic, dramatic moments towards the end of the race if people are having to lift and coast to save fuel as Madster is going deep into turn one. Mm -hmm. um, it does it look like they're starting to struggle on those tyres. Yeah. Let me bring up the... Uh... Oh yes, uh, I didn't mean to mention this earlier uh, about the F1 2022 uh, game servers. Apparently, uh, it's not just PS4 or PS5, it is PC and Xbox consoles uh, as well that are having some connectivity issues, so... I think uh, the lobby stays sa stable. Let's, let's hope. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, folks. There's EAG mm -hmm. pits now. A bit further back. Yeah, you'd be the first of the grid to... Oh, no, no, she's actually pitted to, uh, off those softs, but... Yeah, he's first in softs, medium 13 runs. laps. Was he on softs as well? It was rendered as softs. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he was, but... Oh, he's done two stops, but so he must have not. stopped for uh, another reason, popped on some... He probably got jeffed, let's be honest here. Had the medium mm -hmm. soft loaded, boxed early for um, hards instead, and then... Uh, found himself with uh, a a pair of soft boots on. Yeah. Ooh. So, track is quite spread out now. There's not real any uh, fights to talk about. So, I will t pick up the other uh, instance of this evening: some drinking. <laughs> I'm already one can true. So I'm, I'm one, one glass seven. through. A few more to go. It's been a pretty good season for McLaren. It has. Four hopefully, hopefully Tez doesn't let the side down. We'll see. <laughs> well, uh, I, I know Tez will do um, everything he can, but he does need to sort of hope for some lady luck again. Like, like if Matze finishes P2, then it doesn't matter what Tez does. Uh, he unfortunately won't win it, so it is... Yeah, he isn't. If Tez is running that low downpour setup, he isn't riding the curbs enough. Um, based on the onboard we've seen this lap. Um, to be fair, it might be because he's going low risk, expect the safety car, but mm -hmm. the the amount that he's taking the curbs is isn't enough to assist the rotation. Now you'll see. Does he take this one? Yeah. So there's a couple of curbs in that sector three that he he just missed, and he he will be losing a lot of time to that. Um, to be clear, that's not saying I'm remotely better on this setup than Tez is. Tez is much faster than me, but it is very um, difficult. As our first penalty of the race gets picked up by Chronicle uh, mm. for corner cutting warnings. I'm also finding out from our dear Zalos in the chat that there is no game audio. <laughs> uh, you must be joking. No. <laughs> this is wonderful. I love that it's taken this long for anyone to notice. I painstakingly tried to plug everything back in. I will just, as there isn't that much going on in terms of battling, you will have to call me back if um, it 
looks like there's anything happening on track but you can now have the wonderful menu simulator while mm. I try and work out exactly where the the game has sent its audio to <laughs> Oh, and we have, uh, I believe that is Tess, Tess into in the pits. pits. That's just a... I hear some cars. Is it quite loud? <laughs> I know, I hear cars on Discord. That's what it is. I actually hear it through the stream. Right, okay, so let's grab this and see if that works. Have we now got two copies of it? Right, let's do that and hope that we've now got one copy of it. <laughs> Guys, please yeah, let me yeah. know how the game audio is balanced against myself as Tez does re-emerge behind Shizu, critically. Ooh. Oh. So and they say Pac it's fine. Man is taking those hearts to a podium at the moment. 14 seconds to uh, oh, Mads, Rupert, um, Rupert, Rupert, Rupert as well. as well. For some uh, hard tires. That is and the Rusty Matza also pits. Ruprat is in a great position now because Pathman still has to pitch. And Ruprat is out there on his uh, hard tires, which will kick him so far into the race. And you know, I, that, that gives him the net lead for the moment. So, moment of truth. Will Madster spin it in the pit lane? Again. Nope, he's managed to improve upon last year, and he's kept himself in this uh, title fight. Now, uh, what does Ruprat need to win the title? I I'm not sure what he needs. If, if you're looking for anything apart from complaints about the um, OBS setup, um, I'm afraid you're going to not have much luck with me. Mm -hmm. you, you you can go into the books mm -hmm. and take a look. <laughs> uh, I'm checking out Cruiser's um, grid to see if I can understand whatever he's made. Uh, <laughs> but I think he needs... I think Ruprat, if he wins, he needs Madsen to be into P9. Or P8 if Ruprat has the fastest up. If I'm understanding Cruiser's table correctly. So... <laughs> Basically, yeah. Mazda needs, or Ruprat needs Mazda to have an absolute howler and be put to the back of the grid. So, Ruprat is closing on Pathman, bit by bit. But mm. Pathman is in that papaya colour that has served as a loyal and, uh, let's say, st stout guardian for Tez this season. Maybe less so for other. Uh, McLaren team members who may or may not be uh, watching this stream, but <laughs> we have to see whether Pathman is running a setup that can defend from a charging Ruprath, who is going to be eager to get this win. Mm. Irrespective Rupert of the... Being a bit too close to those curves for my comfort, I can just feel the back end going as my voice breaks for the first time this evening. It's great. <laughs> I, th I think you distinctly underestimate how how much the um, the low downforce setup needs those curbs to do anything, anything remotely useful. Those curbs uh, need to be utilised by the by the low downforce setup. As Matt Ruprath has such a run on uh, Pathman now. Ooh, that was the not outside. the line you want to be taking, Pathman. But oh, actually, maybe it is the line you want to be taking, Pathman. As he defends both turn one and the switch back into turn two, but he would have such oh, a good run. Out. A bit of a oh, as Rupert goes off the track and does overtake Patman. He may have to give that position back. I think oof, they're still side by side spicy. and I see. Rupert has used all of his battery up, and Patman still has some left, and Rupert yields. So one lap behind Pathman now for, oh, and he does a dive up the outside there. Not a normal common overtaking place for anyone. Mm -hmm. um, there is it's the really dive here. He could go to the inside to here, but looks like Pathman's holding him off. Mm -hmm. Pathman's going awfully slow through those corners. He's just really in defensive mode. You can get away with it. 
You can, yes. So here we go again. Another charge up the hill. Up the hill, only three tents <laughs> separating them as they climb that hill down towards the Senna S's. Do you think Rupprath needs to cool down, recharge his battery, and prepare for an attack in a, another lap? Because, I, I, based on the light flashing, I think Rupprath's rinsed his battery to catch. Yeah, we can see on his uh, wheel right there, he definitely has about 2-3%, I would say. He's <laughs> flashing again. Right. He's yeah. looking at the inside, oh, tucks back in. Them. Oh, shit. I've There's just dropped enough to drink all over my keyboard. Two seconds. Ah, oh, no. Well, I will continue the commentator here. It's rough right. He's, he's, he's poking that head, that nose left and right, trying to find a way. He's trying to go out on the outside. That's a very dangerous overtaking kind of spot. Oh, and he pushed the rough right around. And no, he's not. He's managed to keep it. Oh, now he's definitely around. He's facing the wrong way. As car after car after car is coming after him, and he would have Tez going right by him, and that has definitely just put the axe in the stump of Rough Rat's tile hopes here. What in oh, Brazil and on the radio? Man. Even. Fucking idiot, honestly. He's not a happy boy. He's not a happy boy. Too aggressive, I think. There, he he had the much fresher tires on Pac-Man, Pac who hadn't even stopped yet, and there were definitely some better overtaking places on track rather than through the uh, middle sector there. But it's just uh, for a man who's been so fast and so good all afternoon. That's just a silly mistake from Rupp right there. So put yourself in Manster's shoes now. You're coming up to the yeah. back of a papaya car. You've experienced um, Australia this season. Yeah. And you've just seen Ruprath <laughs> sitting at the side of the track as you speed by. What are you thinking? Ooh. I think if Mouse was smart, he would keep it at P2. Like, obviously, if he sees a 100%, this is easy. Like, maybe Pac-Man makes a mistake. In a corner. Oh, Shizu, no, with a three second time penalty there for the Mercedes driver. But yeah, I think Mazda, unless he sees a golden opportunity to get past Pac Man, I think he just wastes this out because Pac Man has to pace. He has to get off those hard tires eventually, as we're coming up on 22 laps out of 36 now, and he'll, he'll have that P1 soon enough. He, he doesn't need to force it, but he does have a Mr. Dr. Shizu breathing down his neck who will be looking for a home victory today but with that three seconds time penalty oh, it's just it's just that little bit uh, a little bit out of sight but not impossible I think Pathman's going to be asking Tez to do more um, Tez needs to pick up the pace oh is is Shizu is struggling with the rear end yeah, Tez is cutting that time down to Shizu by a bit, but he's still four seconds off of him. He's riding that curve a lot. <laughs> in that, I have no idea what that corner is called, but that is a lot of curve to take there. I usually avoid that at all times. Mazda coming up on the back of who is this now? Is this Brad Spitz? This is Pat? Oh, yes, it is Batman. Apologies. He has reached the roadblock. Can he overcome yeah. it? He doesn't seem to be has pushing he saved enough battery? Pathman just has no top speed by the looks of things. Ooh, but Pathman's definitely going to defend. On but the Madster has there. taken that sensible line for drive out of turn two. Oh, but the rear end sounds like it's struggling. They got a little Ooh. bit of wheel spin. Does he have enough battery to make it stick? He needs to get it done quick. Pathman taking Boy, the inside line. Outside at the end of turn four. Oh, Madster's wide, oh, he's, and she's just coming up the inside. Wide. She's just going to creep in on the inside, down to the swooping right-hander, and Mazda has gone from P2 to P3 in a flash, after trying his own overtaking attempt. He's going to have and those Australia flashbacks all over again. And it looks like he's got too much heat in those tyres now, he's, he's yeah. sort of dropping off the back and struggling all in the dirt here. is giving Tez, he's now two and a half seconds off the back of P3, he's gained a second in the last lap or so. So this finding is very, very good from a McLaren standpoint, and Pac-Man, well, he knows it. He's just going to be defending as much oh, as he can. Got some team radio. 
What the hell was that? It, so it sounds like Mads doesn't seem to be happy either. Both struggling with Pathman on track this afternoon. Batman being a bit of a minister of defense all over again. This the time French from Shizu. Always been good at war. Shizu but will, Pathman has will spent his battery. Shizu. That light is flashing. It's flashing on Batman as well, but Batman. Oh. Oh, this is some good defending. Oh, but a bit of a touch there from Shizu, but Shizu, I think, will manage to keep it on track, and he does even manage to keep it into P2. Massa not close enough to capitalize on a bit of a mistake. And is I he going to go up the inside here? He looked like he was having a look. Outside. I don't think he's going on the outside, even. And critically, all is this fighting has brought Tez back into contention. He is just a second off the back of Madster now. Oh, and Master tries to go up the inside of Shizu, but he's having none of it. And actually, Tez is fighting with Ruprat, who is right behind him. It's a five-way fight at the front. And Patman is defending them all. Defending like a lion. And Patman has been passed oh, by Shizu, but he gets crossed into the grass there. And he finally and he pits. Into the pits. He's going to get slowed down. Job. Okay, so battle now Please. resumes with our top four in the top in four, the all within a second. I'm not sure my heart can take this. I've been forgetting to drink. My liver can. <laughs> oh, and Tez is keeping within that three second or three tenths, I should say, of Matsu. I think Matsu's definitely been held up a little bit by Shizu. Tez can smell mm. that championship now, though. It's where the... Yeah. Oh, Tez is losing the rear end there. A little bit of a swapper manages to just about keep it under control. Keep Ruprath behind. All he needs is that one mistake from Matza going wide in a corner. You know, a bit of a, a lock-up or something. Get Like, all he needs is that P2. Well, Grimby is no. right now. Without, to... without okay. Pathman there, Madster just needs to drive home. Yeah. He does have the pace. I apologize, I forgot that the, the point difference between P2 and P3 was only three points, so he actually, he, Tez does need to win. So he needs well, to Tez do needs to pass. More. Tez needs to pass uh, Madster. And is it nine or is it eight? Is the gap nine, nine or eight? Oh, okay. Points. I thought it was eight. Tez is really struggling with that rear end. I wonder if he's overheated the tyres somewhere around the track, but it looks like Madster got a bad exit there. Ooh, Tez definitely having a bit of a, a, a look-see there, but just deciding that he wasn't close enough. Cool, this is ex exciting stuff. Oh, the top four within one second of each other. And Patvin actually... Oh, 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 oh contact, oh, contact right, there. That was a bit of a risky... I think he was caught extent. out. Tez started to lose the rear end again. Um, mm. And the... Well, I, I heard a bit of contact. I heard some metal on metal. Well, the rear end of Tez stepped out and he lost a little bit of speed. And obviously, it looked like Ruprath. And Tez loses the rear end again. Oh, yeah, Ruprath's at the definitely inside. Gonna, definitely going to take advantage of that. That was a very wild movement from Tez. But he did well to catch it. But that puts him down into P4. And I, I, I hate to say it, but I think, with, I think the drivers in front of him are just too fast. And he, they might pull away from him. Frustration from the McLaren driver. Mm -hmm. Oh, did we get some radio there? We did, we did. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And you'd think it'd calm down after that, but no, they're still only tenths of a second oh, away I from each other. Tempo. Mazda in that two tenths of a second to Shizu range. I wonder what Shizu's thinking right now. He, he knows he's in first. Ooh, oh, is we're about tapping the, the back of Mazda. Oof, oof. So while Mazda doesn't need to take it home, Ruprath is desperate for this race win. So Mazda yeah. does want to get away. Like, he wants to be away from that charging Ruprath, who we know. Has a has the uh, let's say more aggressive uh, moves in his arsenal. He's more willing to take those risks in overtaking, and it looks like he's got a run on him here. And Madster might just let him go. He doesn't need to fight him. Madster is pushing a bit to the right, 
I think the inside line is definitely the line you want to take when you are defending, and that is what Mansa has at the moment, because you can block off the switch back, but does he? He doesn't seem to be able to manage it. Reprat just about got ahead at the corner, avoiding oh, the defending Tez attempts. Tez has to run on Mazda. And Tez, Tez is wheel to wheel with his title rival at the moment, and he actually makes a pass, Mazda. Their wheel, rear, rear wheels are still in alongside each other. But Tez has managed to make the move stick. What? That was some great so driving as from the stands, driver, just the... capitalizing on that mistake. As it stands, Madster still holds a six-point advantage. He doesn't yes. need to do anything. Okay? Even with that three-second time penalty for Shizu, he's still got a six-point advantage. As we've got yellows in sector one for Chronicle going so round, who doesn't look like he's DNF'd. Man. No. He is seemingly okay. His Blackbird will get past him there. Yep. Chronicle, of course, giving us a bit of a show yesterday in Division 4 with a photo finish with John Lemon. Made it back just in time to pull that off. It was a shame that his uh, his computer died partway through the uh, session. Yeah. Mm. I now, think that Tez pass on Madster has reinvigorated Tez. We haven't seen him struggling yeah. with the rears anywhere near as much now. Yeah. He can smell it. Yeah, he, he seemed to be going left a bit there as if he was thinking, do I have the momentum here? But you know, just a bit too far away from Ruprat. And it might even be a bit of a DRS train, even with they're all just being pulled on by each other. Now, Matza does not have a lot of battery left in there and. I think Tez has a tiny bit. We don't see any red flash at night. He gets very oh, close to the rear end and he swings and Tez just around. And pinched round. Tez hits a bit of advertising, but he's back on the track. He's not going to be happy Ooh. with that. That was a double be, kiss on the backside. Be careful with the tyres, Mr. Tez boy. They will be hot, hot, hot. I mean, that could be championship deciding material there. Tez, generally speaking, hasn't had the pace of the rest of them the the group mm -hmm. i'm not sure he's going to be able to catch back up he needed Maybe. pathman helping him out to pull him back into contention and yeah, uh the yeah just obviously but, but... should that be penalized madster would drop back behind tez but tez doesn't really have much opportunity now with only six laps left on the clock to to score any further the points Mokrat is getting really close to shizu as well he's within two tenths of a second there he's getting to into it's under they're side by side Sorry, I'm <laughs> drinking. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up, man. We've got drinks to get through. Uh, speaking of... I don't know if you can even hear that on stream, but... I, like I had to the click. I had the click and the hiss. Thank you. This is my third can. You know, with six laps remaining, that is not enough. <laughs> oh, I poured it really shitty. There's a load of head. <laughs> uh, so we've got Ruprath and Shizu fighting up front further back now Madsta slowed up a little bit because of that contact Tez yeah, further back nice. still desperately trying to catch up and then obviously we've got Pathman further behind there on the uh, medium tyres so he should be closing up to this to this pack um, little by little but you can't say that uh, they haven't done everything they can to try and secure yeah. this McLaren title um, as it happens, I believe... They are the believe... only team <laughs> on the grid at the moment. Yes. <laughs> Dear. It They're is going to be interesting because we've seen a number of different pieces of contact here. And yeah. it may genuinely come down to the stewards room as to exactly exactly what goes on here. Um, as much as I hate to say it because obviously we ha we saw Ruprath knocking out Madster. Ooh, Ruprath had a bit of rear end there. Um, we saw Tez getting knocked out by Madster. If those two got five, would they drop behind Tez? What would the calculations look like then? Yeah, um, yeah. good good luck ST1, ST2 is all I can say. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing making uh, steward decisions. It's one. It's another thing knowing that they will affect a championship. <laughs> But Ruprat, oh, I think those tires, they, they seem to give out on him a little bit in the middle sector up there. He, he had a bit of uh, oversteer in a few of the corners. Didn't manage to catch it, but 
I, 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 I do think near the end of this race, Ardo's tire is starting to just wear a tiny bit, but he doesn't seem to be showing it right now as he's going around the inside. Great camera angle, Cody's, but he's side by side with Shizu, and Shizu is defending with his life, and he has kept the position at the moment. Shizu, he may not get the win with that three seconds, but he wants, he wants it on track. He wants to cross the line first at his home Grand Prix. And what a season he's had. Two two wins already this season. And he's pulled on a great, great drive here this evening. Oh, I'm amazed we've not had a safety car. I am utterly amazed. I suppose the risk goes down with only nine drivers. This is true. However, with the amount of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action we've seen, and credit to the guys, obviously we have seen contact, but the contact has been minimal, and it hasn't been race-ending for for most people. Ooh, Tez goes around the outside of That's our turn one. Will he have enough speed? I don't think he will, but she's just pushed a bit wide, and Shizu keeps the position, but he has another DRS zone to try and fend off the well, racing Haas behind him. Not a term you hear very often, and oh, he absolutely clears him at the second time of asking. And Shizu is put down onto P2 on track. But those two have been fighting for a long time. Shizu will be definitely be trying to come at him, but those three seconds are a dampener on his motivation, I, I would say. They would be for me, at least. As Shizu takes a lot of curb, needing that to rotate the car around... Yeah, he is definitely taking more curb than he was in earlier laps. Only three to go, though. Three to go. Well, two in a bit. One, not three in a bit. Three. Three in a bit. Three in a bit. Everyone always forgets that the last lap is still a full lap, so though it says 36 yes. out of 36, they've still got a whole lap to drive. They do indeed. <laughs> can, get, can get very confusing when you're trying to calculate what percentage of the race a certain lap is. It's like a Mario when you have zero lives left, but you still get to go again. <laughs> That's a good way of looking at it, I guess. <laughs> Tez is closing up on Madster slowly. It does look like that's been around the two second bubble the last couple of laps. Maybe um, it's my slightly foggy brain now misrecalling because I am now three quarters of the way through this challenge. But um... You're better than I am. And uh, yeah, I think Madster has just maybe even just slowed up a bit. He knows as things stand, I think this will make him champion. With uh, between three and four, that's 18 and. Oh, sorry, that's 15 and 10, I believe. So that's a five, five uh, point margin, which he's already nine points ahead, so <laughs> any points advantage would uh, give him the win. 15 and 12. 15 and 12. 15 and 12, that's it. 25, 18, 15, 12. Yeah, thanks, Quimby. Quimby being the uh, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, it's 4, 2, 1. Damn it. Yeah. So close. Oh, Jesus! Oh, she's, she's just around! She's around in the center. S's. Is, and Mazda says thank you very much into P2 and Tess is into P3. <laughs> Changes absolutely nothing because the difference between P2 and P3 is the same number of points. But oh wait, no, because uh, P4 and P3. There's more. Yes. No, because it goes 12, 15, 18. So all of them are three point differences. Oh yes, yeah, so there's still three point differences. We managed so to change all the, the positions same. and stay in exactly the same place. Hooray! <laughs> oh, poor Shizu. With only a la uh, two and a bit laps, or a lap and a bit to go. Just. So unfortunate for him, but I, he's 25 seconds to Batman. He will definitely keep at least P4 in the end, regardless of his uh, penalty. So uh, Rupert is going to want to keep the hammer down now, because actually, I oh know, because Tez would also need faster slap, wouldn't he? He'd need the nine points, he wouldn't need just the eight. Yep. Uh, sorry. I, w I was thinking that actually, if, if Tez was able to overtake Madster and get to within the five seconds of Ruprath, then he could uh, he could clinch the win, um, but actually, I'd have no idea who's got the fastest lap. I imagine it's Ruprath or Pathman because he's got that uh, tire differential. Um, I 
I think it was Pac-Man. I do believe I saw him with a 110 at some point, and I don't remember it popping up since. I think I think short of a massive mistake by Madster on this last lap, though, it's coming to him irrespective yeah. of what... Oh, there we go. There we Pathman go. went for soft. So that's why there's that 20-second gap back. So Pathman has oh, made sure that he seven. has secured that fastest lap point. Um, but yeah, short of Madster spinning it here, or at the next corner, or at the final two corners. I, I believe he has got this bolted on as a win. And However, we come around the last corner. Coming around the last corner. I do not know, I did not learn the corner names, unfortunately, for this uh, race, but he is coming up. He got pole position in qualifying, and he will take the race victory in Brazil. Rockrat wins the Brazilian Grand Prix, but here is the... <laughs> The, the real fight in question as they're nearly together crossing the line. The two main title rivals, Mads and Tez. But I believe that will make Mads the champion of Division 3. Irregardless so, of even a time penalty, I think. This this is where it gets slightly funny because I do have a pre-recorded Ruprath message that says win. Which I'll play now. Let's go. Yes! Yes! Come on. Let's go! But I have no idea if he was claiming to win the race or the championship. So I hope that he, that was for the race. And then I've got one for Madster, which says win against it. Yes, 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 come on! This is it, guys, this is it! And that one looked like it deafened everyone's ears. So yes. enjoy those wonderful celebrations from our two winners of the day. Yes. I think even with a five second penalty, that will only move him to P3, which won't change the championship. Uh, for Mazda, so regardless of the stewards' room, Mazda with a P2 in qualifying, P2 in the race, he is our champion with no wins during the season. A P2 today means he has not won in the season, and he has done well what Kiki Rosberg nearly did, but he did it better because it was an FRS. Indeed, and I'm gonna play this one in. Yes. Ah! Sorry guys. Get their Sorry guys, that was all I could do. Sorry. Celebrate a great season of racing. She Shizu uh, is worth saying was racing, having got back after having an allergic reaction in the hospital. So yes. credit to him for bringing the car home and over the line, let alone everything People. else. Yeah. Thank you to our drivers for giving us a most entertaining final race i do believe that mclaren take the constructors in division three with that result taking home a p3 and a p5 and ferrari were 10 points off the and back the so, as well. so i don't think they uh managed to um bridge that gap no they definitely didn't what am i talking about mm -hmm. i'm just rambling yes. at this point i am <laughs> far too far into these drinks i do technically have to finish these ones off but um I think, unless Squids, you've got anything further that you want to say, we can call it quits there. Take a quick look at the race director. Have a look at those incidents that uh, occurred quickly, just in case the stewards want them, though I somewhat doubt it. And that'll, that'll be that. Well, I'll just say congratulations to Mazda. He just about missed out on the uh, title last season, and I think he's a very well-deserving champion. He's putting consistent results consistent podiums and he's just done a very well job good job all season long so deserving champion and obviously commiserations to our other three title contenders but fair play to taking it to the last race you were the only pc division to do that so you gave it a fight but good job so that's it from us uh, for this season fingers crossed squids we can bring it back together next season in season mm -hmm. seven which i believe will be coming in the new year but obviously in the meantime we will have some um something to fill in the gap obviously as we run up towards the holidays but for now that's all that division three has to offer for you so from me space ghost and from squids goodbye Hurrah.